Hey everybody, welcome back for another memory keeping plan with me. This week we're memory keeping for September 5th through the 11th, so starting off with Labor Day. And I have this kit from Cinderella Paper called Vineyard. This is a old, old format of the kit. I'm pretty sure I bought this at the end of 2019 when I first ordered from this shop. So this is like two or three formats ago and it's on her old glossy paper from back in the day. So in my monthly lineup video a couple weeks ago, I talked about how I wanted to use this because I was hoping they could go to Temecula to do wine tasting. We did not end up doing that, but I ended up just using the kit anyway because it's a really old kit. Um, it's been reformatted since then. I could always probably repurchase it or there's so many other vineyard kits out there, I feel. And on Monday, we were driving home from Berkeley and we did drive through a lot of um, agricultural land and wine country. Um, around like Paso Robles and all of that. So I thought visually it still fit. Plus on Saturday we went to my fiance's best man's apartment to try and mix drinks perhaps for a signature cocktail for our wedding. So uh, and he of course served us wine too. He's like, oh, who wants wine before we start uh, mixing drinks? And we're like, okay. <laughs> so I think it, it all worked out. Um, I just wanted to use this kit I still had like five full boxes left over, so I could use this again. Um, something I realized with her old formats, though, is that there's a lot less like functional stuff. So I used almost all of the labels and little things and half boxes. So if I do end up using this again for the full boxes, I'm going to have to pull in a lot of stuff from my multicolor collection, or I'll need to order some like functional stuff to go along with it. So yeah, uh, wine tasting themed week, even though we didn't go wine tasting, that's perfectly fine. I don't think we're gonna actually have time to go wine tasting now um, because we're really getting into prime wedding planning time where we have a lot of appointments. On our days off. I do really like that fashion girl that I'm gonna put on Saturday. I feel like it looks like me. I don't have a tattoo on my back, but that is very much an outfit I would wear. This week was the week of the killer heat wave. It got incredibly hot in California starting the previous week. Um, so it was hot here for like super hot, hotter than usual, for about a week and a half. Um, and then it broke on the Friday of this week with a rainy, humid, weird weather day. <laughs> it was very strange. So... Luckily, this was a short work week and a short class week for my students because by the end of my last class on Thursday, I could tell everyone's brain had kind of melted. So I'm putting this Taylor Swift quote over the Thursday box. It says, I've never heard silence quite this loud. This was week three of the semester, so it's unfortunate that I had to use that so quickly into the semester. But my last class on Thursday, I could just tell they were like, I'm so tired from being basically heat exhausted all week. So yeah, it was the longest, shortest week of the semester because I technically only worked three days this week because we're still early in the semester. So there's not a lot for me to grade. And then also like we just didn't have class on Monday. So, and I don't teach on Fridays either this semester. So very short week. After I put in the glitter headers, I moved on to the sidebar. I used this brick pattern washi, which I love from the kit and then I put in two habit trackers for skincare and flossing and then of course I'm gonna put in my dinners sidebar. This sidebar setup has been working for me lately. Another thing I noticed about the old format of the kit is that the habit trackers, so in the new format of her kits, I feel like the two habit trackers, the dinners header and the sidebar sticker, like the sidebar checklist are all different colors so you get to incorporate all four different colors into your sidebar if you want. And with this one, obviously, one of the habit trackers and the dinner's header are the same color. So I like that that's changed because I like to incorporate all four colors from the kit into my sidebar. I'll go ahead and add something else to the sidebar later to mark the terrible heat wave. But for now, I'm going to get into the day by day. So Monday was my day off. Well, both of our day off. So I pulled in a day off script from a different Cinderella paper kit and put that on a pattern piece of washi. I also love the wood grain washi. I really do like how this week turned out. Then I put in a half box to mark that we started off the day with brunch in Berkeley. So we went to La Note. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. It's a French restaurant that I'd heard a lot about. 
and I wanted to try it before we left because I had never tried it before. So we went, it was amazing. I got lemon gingerbread pancakes and it had poached pears and blueberries on top, so good. I read the menu and I'm like, lemon gingerbread pancakes sounds amazing. And they were. And then of course we got the, I think they called them fries, but they were just house potatoes. I order potatoes at brunch pretty much anywhere. And these were really good. They were like rosemary garlic. Anyway, that brunch sticker is from Cinderella Paper. I forget what my fiance ordered. Maybe like some sort of omelet. He thought it was really good too. We really lucked out with this Berkeley trip because everywhere we went, if it was just the two of us, like they could seat us pretty much immediately. Like when we went to Angeline's the prior Friday, normally we have had to wait like 45 minutes. But on that Friday, they were able to seat us like within 10 minutes it was so quick and then this place like was packed because it was probably one of the few places open on labor day and we went up to the the booth and we're like um how long would it be to wait for two and they're like oh we can seat you right now we have a table for two i'm like wow we really lucked out so we got really lucky on this trip to berkeley as far as restaurants go then i used a molly loves the big city for marking checking out of our hotel and then i used a blobby from oh hello co in the car to mark our drive home. I used a gas station sticker from Planting Roses to mark that we had to stop in Prunedale because we got stuck in traffic um, basically almost the whole way from Berkeley to that point because people were trying to escape the heat and so there was a lot of traffic before people could get off for the exit from Monterey, um, which if you remember from a couple months ago is where we went on a trip where it was pretty chilly So that's the place to go if you want to cool off So yeah, we were stuck in traffic and we really needed a bathroom at that point So we stopped in Prunedale, which is just one of those cities along the way Then we stopped for real in San Luis Obispo this time at a cafe called Linnea's We got some coffee there. We used the bathroom and we kept on trucking and then our last stop of the day was in Camarillo, which is about an hour or two hours away from us. Um, but again, we really needed a bathroom. And then we bought some snacks as well. So I marked that one with a chips bag from Carly Plans. Then we finally got home after like eight hours. And um, what was I going to say? We were reunited with our precious little cat. So I have a Molly and Tanya sticker from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. Every time we leave and then come back, I feel so bad. The cat is super clingy. The saddest was definitely when we came back from our Monterey trip in July because we got home. The house was dark. She didn't appear for a while, and then she realized it was us, so she crept out of her hidey hole and was like, meow, meow, meow. She was so sad. So we were reunited, and then that evening we watched some Parks and Recreation, so I used a London sticker from Wonton and a Million because we were watching the London episodes of Parks and Rec. Tuesday, my fiance immediately had to go back to work, um, so I used a car icon from the kit to mark that he had to drive up to the office. I used a planner sticker from Carly Plans to mark that I pulled stickers for a plan with me, and then I used a water bottle sticker also from Carly Plans to mark that I was probably dehydrated this day. I was quite tired this day. Um, like I said last week, it was like high 80s, low 90s in Berkeley, which is very hot for that area, but where we were, it was like at least 100 degrees for a week and a half. <laughs> yeah, we were doing our best to stay hydrated, but sometimes there's just nothing you can do. Like as hydrated as you are, as electrolyte filled as you are, as keeping up with everything as you are, like it's just too hot. Then I brushed the kitty cat. So I have a Once More With Love munchkin for that. And then I have a pencil sticker to mark that I was grading classwork. Then, you know, I had my office hours like I did the last few weeks, but I didn't mark them this week. I just didn't feel like it. So I just put in my classes on campus, and then I put in a Molly is too hot to sleep sticker to mark that I was tired this day. So tired. And then I put in these little question marks from a red bubble sheet I have for Parks and Recreation to mark that I watched Parks and Recreation, because that's the season I'm on where she uh, has the question marks stickers. <laughs> Then I put in a little thing at the top of Wednesday to mark that my fiance also went to the office that day. I'm gonna put in a laptop sticker from Carly Plans to mark that I was editing my September monthly plan with me to share with you all. And then I put in a big old half box and a Molly loves showing her bum sticker to mark that the cat was being clingy still. Like I said, she really misses us. She's quite attached to us. We adopted her during like probably the worst part of the pandemic, so we were not going anywhere. 
or seeing anybody or doing anything. So we got really bonded, which is really nice. Um, but she absolutely hates when we leave. Then I used a coffee sticker from Oh Hello Co to mark that I got an iced coffee. I think I was out of, oh, we were out of milk this whole week because we just didn't have time to go grocery shopping. So I don't drink black coffee. I drink coffee with milk in it. So I had to keep like buying coffee. I'm going to put in another pencil sticker to mark grading more classwork. And then I'm going to put in my classes at the bottom of the day. And then I'm going to put in a Cones of Dunshire sticker from the red bubble sheet to mark watching more parks and recreation. I do miss rounded off half boxes. I feel like nobody does them anymore. So that's the one nice thing about using an old version of a kit is that it has rounded off half boxes. That's kind of nice. I like the squared off boxes too, but I feel like rounded half boxes would go well with what a lot of people are doing with underlays. Like they would show the underlay a bit more than a squared off half box. That's just a thought. On Thursday, I lesson planned, so I have another laptop sticker from Carly Plans. I'm going to put in an Etsy sticker to mark that I loaded my cart for Plana Hannah because her shop reopened and she was going to have a sale the next day and I just wanted to have everything ready to go. I'm going to put in this save savings jar from Oh Hello Co because the interest rate on my Summer Saver education account went up. That's the one good thing about interest rates going up. It, obviously, if you have to borrow money, it's less ideal. But if you are, if you have like a high yield savings account, the rates are also going to go up too. So that's nice. And then I wasn't particularly going to mark this, except that I had a sticker for it from Wonton and a Million. But I had this uh, Queen Elizabeth sticker from Wonton and a Million in the London part of the travel book from Michaels. So I did mark that uh, this was the day that uh, her passing was announced. I'm kind of a middle of the road attitude towards this whole thing. Um, I understand why people are sad, but I also have done a lot of work in studying the effects of British imperialism. And you know, I'm not, I'm also American, so I'm not pro monarchy. And I think it's kind of weird when Americans are pro monarchy. I don't agree with that. Um, and that's not to say that if you're sad about her passing that you're like, you want us to have an absolute ruler. That's not what I'm saying, but I just have a lot of mixed feelings about it. Not enough to like say things on social media because quite frankly, I'm kind of ambivalent towards the whole thing. Um, but I just, I had the sticker and I thought I would mark that. But yeah, I just, personally, I don't think any country should have any monarchy. But if I don't live in those countries, I don't really have a say in that. But yeah. I, I believe in democracy, and I believe in uh, not colonizing other places. So it's complicated. But at the same time, like, someone lost somebody, so it makes sense. Anyway, then I put in my class labels for my classes that day, and then a mouse rat sticker at the bottom of the day for Parks and Recreation. Friday was also my day off. I'm going to mark my days off on Fridays when I have them. I think on some Fridays, especially once I start receiving a lot more papers, I'm not going to always be able to take Friday off. But when I am, when I can, I will. I used a McDonald's sticker from Carly Plans to mark that my fiance got me an iced coffee and hash browns from McDonald's, which was very nice of him. I think I mentioned I was craving hash browns the night before and he's like, well, I'm going to go on a run in the morning. I can go get that. I'm like, are you sure? And he's like, yeah. He's very nice. I don't deserve that. I used another Etsy sticker to mark that I placed my order from Planet Hannah, so look forward to seeing that. Uh, lots of exciting foiled things coming for October. October is going to be a big month. Then I put in this book sticker. I can't remember where it's from. I just had it in my collection to mark that I was researching poems to be read at our wedding. Um, we have chosen a couple at this point. We just need to figure out if those really are the ones we're going to use and then who's going to read them. But, you know, I'm an English major. Nathan was an English minor. It made sense to have poems read at our wedding. <laughs> then I used the laundry basket icon from the kit to mark that I did laundry with our new washer and dryer that I talked about last week. Downloading the app was kind of a pain. I don't like app-based payment, personally. I just... I don't feel safe with it, honestly, but that's the way the world's going. 
So now I can only do laundry if I have an app on my phone. But the, the everything's great. The, the clothes came out way cleaner than they have been the last couple years, so that's nice. Then I booked a flight for my bachelorette party, so I have a plane sticker from Oh Hello Co. We're not going anywhere too crazy. Um, the flight is to Sacramento. <laughs> we are planning to go to Tahoe. My whole bridal party is up north, so it just made sense to me to have me travel, and then they don't have to travel so far. So that'll be nice. I'm looking forward to that. It's actually going to happen. I think. I hope. <laughs> Then I marked that it was hot and drizzly this day, so this is where the heat wave kind of broke, but it was super humid and gross, um, and it ended up pouring rain later in the day. So I have a Molly weather sticker for that, and then I have a camera sticker from Oh Hello to mark that I filmed a plan with me, a laptop sticker to mark that I edited the haul, or my monthly haul, and then I used a Molly as a scaredy cat sticker from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. to mark that my cat hid under the bed for like six hours starting when the rain started. I didn't even hear any thunder or lightning or anything, but the next day our friend had pointed out that in his area there was thunder and lightning, so you know cats have way better hearing than us, so maybe she heard something. She is terrified of, of rain, of thunder, of lightning. I don't know what we're going to do if we ever leave Southern California and we move somewhere where it rains more, which is the goal. <laughs> but she's such a scaredy cat. We had to like lure her out and we were trying to give her her treats. We have these like freeze-dried meat salmon and chicken treats that she loves and she kept like refusing to eat them and I'm just like I need you to eat and then she finally did but ugh, she's just terrified of storms even if they're like really light storms then I gave myself a pedicure so I have a red nail polish sticker from vintage lilac paper and then we watched a movie called the Northman this evening so I just used a tv little thing for that Nathan brought this up when we went to see Macbeth a couple weeks ago He's like, oh, there's this movie I've been wanting to watch. It's about, like, Norse people. Um, and it's basically based on the myth that, or the Norse myth that inspired Shakespeare to write Hamlet. Um, so, you know, I didn't hate it. It was a pretty good movie. Um, there's a lot of violence, obviously. And then there's some weird stuff, familially. But I liked it. Um, there's, like... I'm not going to give any spoilers in case you want to watch it, but um, at first I'm like, is this just going to be another movie where men are like fighting all the time? That's really boring to me. Um, but then they have some twists and some ethical dilemmas, and I'm like, oh, I'm in. I like this. So overall, I enjoyed it. I just had to look away at certain points because I'm like, Ugh, okay, that's, that's somebody's heart. Great, great. <laughs> Then on Saturday, we got coffee that morning. Um, I put in a Molly is Grumpy sticker from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. because I thought that AWS was having an outage because like half of the websites we were trying to visit on our Wi-Fi weren't working. We later figured out it was a problem with our Wi-Fi. It resolved itself, but it was annoying because I had a bunch of wedding related things I wanted to buy and pretty much every e-commerce site was not working for us, which is why I assumed it was an AWS issue because also Reddit wasn't working, which is also hosted on AWS, I believe. I forget how I know all of this, but yeah. Then um, I finally unpacked from the week before and put away my laundry that I had washed because I hang dry everything. So I have a Molly Loves to Declutter sticker for that. We went to Target. We went to two different Targets to like pick up stuff to go over to our friend's house that evening. I cleaned my engagement ring. That sticker is from Paper Shire, as well as the couple that is right below that because we finished the details section of our wedding venue binder. We went over to our friend's house, my fiance's best man's house, and we did a charcuterie board. So that sticker's from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. And then I have a little, like, I think that's supposed to be a margarita sticker from Carly Plans because we were mixing drinks at his apartment to kind of figure out a signature cocktail because he really loves mixing drinks. Um, one that he really loves mixing is so good, but um, he was pointing out that a lot of the liqueurs that he has, the venue might not have. So we'll have to see, maybe. Then on Sunday, I put in the credit card icon to mark that I ordered my wedding shoes finally. I had to do it on my phone, though, because we were still having internet issues, so I put in a Krabby Molly from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. for that. I filmed an accessories haul from Azazi, so that sticker's from Paper Shire. I voiced over a plan with me, and that's from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. And then we caught up on weeks four and five of our premarital counseling, because we kind of got behind with being out of town. 
So I have a Molly cat couple for that. And then I have a Pawnee Indiana script or sticker at the bottom of the day to mark watching Parks and Recreation. Then I put in a FaceTimes 2 script from Carly Plans and a Heat Wave sticker or a Molly Sunny Day sticker from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. in the sidebar to mark the Heat Wave. And that was the week. I hope you enjoyed hearing about it. I hope you are doing well and I will talk to you next time. Goodbye.